I was fogged out by that point. It's, 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 it's all fuzzy. I've reached out to Chris um, and the, mes the message that came back is that uh, he's not ready to talk. It's been a while since Will Smith's infamous smack at the 2022 Academy Awards silenced the world. Will Smith walking up on stage and slapping Chris Rock right across the face is truly an incident that will not be so easily forgotten. Especially if there are constant reminders that parade social media reminding him and everyone else of what he has done. It's crazy to think that one mistake can leave a man with a lifetime of regret. Smith just released a five-minute video to his YouTube channel giving everyone an update on how he's been dealing with the situation and how sorry he is about his actions. Want to find out exactly what he said and what his life has looked like the past few months? Then sit back and relax while we give you a full rundown on what's been happening. But before we get into today's video, please be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoy our content and make sure to let us know what you think in the comments section down below. Ever since the incident at the Oscars, Will Smith has completely disappeared from the limelight. No social media, no press, and barely any appearances otherwise. Now, out of nowhere, he has popped back up and posted an apology video directly addressed to Chris, his family, and of course his audience. The video was uploaded on his YouTube channel and was titled, It's Been a Minute. Over the course of about six minutes, Will took part in a seemingly genuine self-led questionnaire. It was a Q&A session where he opened up his heart to talk about everything related to the big slap. The first thing he addressed was why he didn't apologize to Chris in his acceptance speech. At the Oscars, he won his first Academy Award for playing the part of the father of tennis legends Venus and Serena Williams in King Richard. As all of us know, Will is a terrific actor and laid down an absolutely stunning performance. He brilliantly captured the essence of fatherhood and moved all of us with his heartfelt acting. In an unbiased perspective, he really deserved the award. But when he hopped up on the stage to receive his award and made the mandatory acceptance speech, he only said the following. Williams um, was a fierce defender of his family. In this time in my life, in this moment, I am overwhelmed by what God is calling on me to do and be in this world. And I know to do what we do, you got to be able to take abuse, you got to be able to have people talk crazy about you. In this business, you got to be able to have people disrespecting you. And you got to smile and you got to pretend like that's okay. He added that he wanted to be a vessel of love and an ambassador for care and concern. He then briefly apologized to the Academy and all his fellow nominees. He also shed a few tears and ended his speech in the hope the Academy will invite him back. The acceptance speech was near to perfection and those tears added an emotional effect. However, nowhere in the speech was an apology to Chris Rock. After all, he was the one who had to endure the smack. If Will was truly remorseful, he would have mentioned a word of apology to Chris rather than shedding tears. Don't you agree? Maybe his inner actor convinced him to capture the audience, yet again with another spectacular performance, rather than apologize to the one person that mattered. Will of course addressed this in his apology video. I was fogged out by that point. It's, 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 it's all fuzzy. I've reached out to Chris um, and the, mes the message that came back is that uh, he's not ready to talk. And when he is, he will reach out. Um, so I will, I will say to you, uh, Chris, I apologize. Better late than never, right? I mean, we can't really blame Chris. We all know what happened last time Will reached out. We doubt the poor guy could hear properly after that tight slap. Well, for what it's worth, Chris too hasn't said much about the tragic incident, aside from cracking a few jokes about the incident in a few stand-up shows. During one show, he said this, anyone who says words hurt has never been punched in the face. Yeah, that shit hurt, but I shook that shit off and went to work the next day. I don't go to the hospital for a paper cut. 
Throughout the rest of the video, Will addressed various moments from the infamous night. One question was whether or not Jada actually told him to take actions against Chris after she rolled her eyes. He appeared to be quite amused by this theory as he answered, It's like, you know, I'm, I made a choice on my own, from my own experiences, from my history with Chris. Jada had nothing to do with it. Uh, I'm sorry, babe. Um, I'm gonna say sorry to my, my kids and, and my family for the heat that I brought on all of us. To be clear, he also expressed extreme remorse for the altercation and said, I can say to all of you there is no part of me that thinks this was the right way to behave in that moment. Since this is the first time we have heard from him, he also added in an apology to his peers at the Academy. He genuinely apologized for tarnishing the moment of the other nominees. He ended the video by reassuring all of us that he is working on making amends and is working on putting light and joy into the world. It takes a boy to throw out a slap and a man to apologize. Although the apology was pretty late, it is good that he finally came around and did it. Chris Rock's reaction to it, on the other hand, was far from what we expected. Just a few hours after the video was released, Chris had this to say at a live comedy show the same evening. Everybody is trying to be a fucking victim, he continued. If everybody claims to be a victim, then nobody will hear the real victims. Even me getting smacked by Suge Smith. I went to work the next day. I got kids. That is definitely not the reaction Smith expected, that's for sure. Being compared to the Death Row Records executive Suge Knight, who is currently imprisoned for driving over a man with his car back in 2015. Seems like Chris isn't ready to forgive Will after all. His closing statement then was, anyone who says words hurt has never been punched in the face. And if that's not true, I don't know what is. Even though the Oscars were tragic for Will Smith, it was a blessing in disguise for Chris Rock. Yeah, the smack might have hurt, but his popularity has skyrocketed. His fame has seen an uptick mostly due to how calm and composed he remained, even after getting slapped. After cracking a joke about Will's wife Jada in her buzzed head, Chris gets smacked really hard by an enraged Will. At the time of the incident, Rock quipped to the stunned audience, Wow, Will Smith just smacked the out of me. And added after Will profusely cussed at him, Wow, dude, it was a G.I. Jane joke. Instead of making the situation more dramatic, Chris simply said, Okay, that was the greatest night in the history of television. This helped lighten the tense atmosphere within the theater. In the days since, Chris has seen a dramatic surge in ticket sales for his Ego Death World Tour 2022. All the tickets were sold out like hotcakes. During his first Boston show, Rock received a standing ovation from the audience before breaking his silence on the incident as he said that he was still processing what happened, so at some point I'll talk about that shit. Even when the attendee chanted F Will Smith from the audience, Chris took a gentlemanly stance and said no, 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 no. He even refused to file a case against Will Smith despite having valid reason to do so. I mean, the guy was publicly assaulted. Looks like he is rolling with the punches when he said, anyone who says words hurt has never been punched in the face. He really is a comedian. Will's apology appears to be raw and human. People make mistakes. Will too made a mistake and it may be time to forgive him. Time heals all wounds. So let's hope Chris can come around and accept the apology at some point. And hopefully the drama will end with this apology video and that they will be back to being buddies after putting all of this behind them. So what did you think of the apology video? Do you think that Will genuinely regrets his actions or is he trying to cover up his tarnished image? And is it time to forgive Will for his actions or should we leave that up to Chris? Let us know your thoughts in the comments down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. We will be back soon with a new video. Until then, bye.